Very good morning, my tiny tots. Hope you all are fit and fine. Dear students, take out your test copies. Write down date, test, lesson number 8, some properties of water. First question, new words. Number 1, soluble substances. Number 2, solution. Second question, give answers. Question number 1, why does an object sink or float in water? Why does an object sink or float in water? Second question, what is buoyancy? Leave a line, write down third question, true or false. Number 1, salt will dissolve faster in cold water than warm water. Number 2. Things heavier than water float on water. Question number 4. Tick the correct answer. Universal solvent is? A universal solvent is oil, water, soda, juice. All have written students? Okay. Very nice. Now take out your books. Now we will do new chapter. Lesson number 9. Water as a resource. Already we have done properties of water. Why we take water? Water used for cooking, bathing, cleaning the utensils, watering the plants etc. Okay. Now we will do water as a resource. Underline. Let's warm up. You have learnt in lesson 7 how water changes from one form to another by heating or cooling. Filling the boxes using words from the help box. Liquid water, it changes into evaporation, right on evaporation. Gas steam, then it changes into condensation. Then liquid water, freezing, when we keep the water in the freeze, afterwards it becomes ice, it is a freezing. Okay, then it becomes a solid ice. When we keep the ice on the table, after 5 or 10 minutes, what we we'll see? It changes into water. It's the melting. Evaporation, condensation, freezing, melting. Okay, students, read on. You must have experienced that when a wet towel is spread on a cloth line in the sun, it dries. A wet towel kept under the running fan also dries. This is because the water in the towel changes to water vapor due to heat of the sun. Dear student, you have seen uh, your mama keep the cloth in the sunlight and after 2 or 3 hours, what you see? It becomes dries. How it becomes dries? Due to heat of the Sun. The change of water to water vapor on heating is called evaporation. What is evaporation? When water changes into water vapor on heating, it is called evaporation. The factors that affect the rate of evaporation are heat, exposed surface and wind. Understood students? The factors that affect the rate of evaporation are heat, exposed surface and wind. Try it yourself. Take two wet towels of the same size, spread one on the clothesline in the sun, keep the other towel in a bucket in the sun. Which towel dries faster? The towel which is in the sunlight, right? Down, the towel which is in the sunlight. Why? Due to heat of the sun. Due to heat of the sun, water changes into water vapor and we call it evaporation. Understood student? You must have seen that drops of water are seen on the outer surface of the cold bottle of water kept on the table. This is because the water vapor in the air changes into drop of water on coming in contact with the cold outer surface of the bottle. You have seen students, sometimes you keep the water, cold water in the glass and after some time you see some drops on the outer surface. From where it comes? It is due to condensation. It is due to condensation. What is condensation? Condensation is the change of water vapor to water on cooling. What is condensation? When water vapor changes into water on cooling, it is called condensation underline. In nature, condensation is seen in the form of dew and fog. We have seen dew and fog in the morning. It is due to condensation. Evaporation and condensation can also be seen in nature in the form of water cycle. Okay, rise for 5 minutes. 
water cycle water circulates naturally between water bodies present on the earth and the atmosphere in the form of cycle called water cycle underline the water in the lakes rivers and seas get heated by the sun water changes into water vapor this is called evaporation you have seen in the hot in the lakes and water seas water gets heated by the sun it becomes dry why it becomes dry water changes into water vapor it is called evaporation water vapor mixes with the air and rises high up in the sky the air is cool water vapor changes into drops of water this is called condensation drops of water join together and form clouds how cloud formed drops of water join together and it form clouds when clouds become heavy they fall down as rain you know how rain comes down when clouds become heavy they fall down as rain rain water fills lakes rivers and ocean this cycle goes on in nature then you have seen a rain water fills all the lakes rivers oceans wells this cycle goes on in nature and we call it water cycle all have understood what is water cycle very nice blow your mind who in your city is responsible to make water from lake safe for human consumption municipality write down municipality m u n c i p a l i t y municipality revise for 5 minutes now we'll do impurities in water polluted water polluting water water in the water body become dirty due to several human activities we make water dirty okay students people dump waste in rivers and lakes people also wash clothes their cattle in rivers this makes water in these water bodies dirty sometimes you see na some ladies they wash the clothes near the rivers lakes and we throw the waste in the water it all becomes water dirty people use water from rivers and lakes for drinking drinking dirty water can make us sick when we take the dirty water then will make us sick they can suffer from water become diseases like typhoid and cholera typhoid and cholera these are water diseases water in water bodies have insoluble impurities like mud stones tell me two insoluble impurities mud stones water in water bodies have soluble impurities like germs chemicals from factories these are soluble impurities germs and chemicals from the factories water containing impurities is unfit for consumption okay students Revise for five minutes.